Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to create a business day formula in Salesforce and we are going to learn this concept for both Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic edition. So let's proceed and firstly know what does we mean by a business day formula. So in Salesforce, if you want to check whether the date falls on a business day or not, we have to create a business day formula. This formula basically compares the date field with the weekdays and check whether the date falls on a working day or on holiday. And by default, we take the holidays as a weekends, which is Saturday and Sunday. So let's proceed and learn to create the business day formula in Salesforce Lightning first. So here I open my Salesforce account in a Lightning experience. If you are not in a Lightning one, first move to the Lightning. So after moving to the lightning experience, I am in my main home page. So here you can see that here I have a object manager on a top navigation bar. So I click on it. When I click on it, it shows me the list of all the objects. Now it's time to choose the object in which you want to apply the business day formula. So here I will show you an example for a campaign. So I am searching for the campaign in quick find box and click on the campaign. After that, you have to click on a field and relationship option on a left side and from here on the next page, you will get a new button where you have to click to create a new formula field. Now on the next page, it redirects you to the choose a field type step. Here you have to choose the field type in which you want to store your information. So as we are going to create a formula, I will click on the radio button next to formula and click on the next button to proceed to the next step. So here I have to enter the field label name for the formula field that I'm going to create. So here I set the name as a upcoming camping. So it automatically fetch up the field name. So now it's time to choose the formula return type. So it is always a date one because we are returning some camping date, upcoming camping date. So we have to choose the date as a formula return type. So I click on the next button to proceed to the next step. So here now we have to enter the formula. So we are going to use multiple functions from this function section and we are going to insert the fields from this insert field button and we are going to use the operator from this insert operator button. So let's create a formula first. So here I enter my formula. Here I am showing you the case of the weekend days or you can say a business days. So here I am going to show you the example of a business day by using the upcoming camping example. So here I enter my formula. Now I explain you. Here basically I am setting the date of the upcoming camping after the four days from the two day. So for this I need to check whether the two day plus four day is a weekend or not which means Saturday or a Sunday. So if it is, we have to set another day. So here I add four days to the current date. So here you can see that here I use the weekend function for the weekend. Here I fetch out the two day by using the two day function and I set to the four plus one plus four for that. So, so to get the days of the week, here I use one for a Sunday, two for Monday and so on. Then I use the case function which is used to check that a day of the week and decide how many working days should be added to the date. And each line of the function represent a different day of the week. Since uh, like uh, I am going to add a four days to the number of days fixed to the one. So the floor and the ceiling function has been reflecting the current date is only being one day advance. So for example, today date is the 18th of April 2023, which falls on a Tuesday. And if I add four days to it, it returns as result of a 22nd of April 2023, which is a Saturday. So now you can see that it falls on a Saturday, which is a weekend day, weekday. So it executes the logic of the sixth. Here this one sixth case and represent the next nearest business day after that 22nd of April. So 
so 22nd of april is a saturday so it means 23rd of april is sunday so it will represent the result as a 24th of april which is a monday so with this we have concluded that the formula find out the 22nd of april is not business day it is a holiday so it will move to the next day which is the 24th of april as a working day so now to check whether this function correctly works or not i click on a check syntax button so it shows that there is no error if you want to add any description or help text you can add if you want to give handle the blank fields you can handle it and i click on the next button to proceed to the next step now in the next step i have to choose the profiles to whom i want to grant the edit access of this field some are already selected but i want to select all so i click on the visible check box and click on the next button to proceed now it asks me to choose out the page layout in which you want to add this field so there is only one page layout which is already selected so i simply click on the save button so with this we have learned how to create a formula in salesforce which calculates the business day in salesforce lightning so now we will learn this thing for the classic also so i click on my profile and here i have a option of switch to a salesforce classic i click on that and i redirect to the classic edition so now on the top here i have a setup option i click on that when i scroll down on the left hand side i have a build section under it i have a customize drop down when i click on it shows me all the objects so this time i choose a product object to show you an example and when i click on a product i have click on the fields option as i have to going to create a new field so now when i scroll down here we have a section of a product custom field and relationship here i click on the new button i click it redirect to the new page here i click on the profile pro formula radio button as i am going to create a formula which calculates the business days so i click on the next button now it's time to add a field label so here i enter the field label as delivery date so it automatically filled up a field name so it's time to choose the formula return type i choose it as a date i click on the next button to proceed to the next step so now it's time to enter the formula you can use the insert field button for inserting a field insert operator for inserting an operator and the function section for inserting multiple functions so here i am going to add my formula first so here i enter my formula now i explain you here basically this formula calculate the delivery date based upon the purchase date plus 7 days okay here i use the weekend function to determine whether the day of the week of the value for the day purchase date plus 7 days is weekend or not this formula applies on a different formula depended upon the day of the week using a case function and evaluate and return the result of the weekend function if it is a weekend okay so here we have one to six cases which works as calculate the delivery date of the product by adding the number of days to the purchase date and adding the number of weekends in between and for the case 7 the formula determines the delivery date by deducting one day from the purchase date and adding the total number of days then including the total number of weekends so by using this we calculate the number of weekends by dividing the number of days by 5 and rounding down it to the nearest integer using the floor function on the days 1 minus 5 and 7 but for the sixth we use the ceiling function for calculation here you can see that now i am not using the floor function i am using the ceiling function and here if the weekend function return null the case method also return null if all the cases are not working it return the null so here i click on the check syntax button to check that there is error or not so there is no error in this formula you can add description or help text i click on the next button to proceed to the next step here you have to choose the profile to whom you want to grant the edit access of this field i want to give the access to all the profile i click on the visible check box 
I click the next button. Here you have to choose the page layout in which you want to add this field. There is only one page layout that is by default active. So I click on the save button. So with this we have successfully created up the formula field that checks whether the date is a business day or not. So now let's check how it works. I click on a plus tab. Scroll down and search for the product item. Here I open up my product. Here is the purchase date is a 22nd of a third and based upon that it set up the delivery date which is a 31st of a three. On a 22nd we have a Wednesday and 25th and 26th falls on a weekend which is Saturday and Sunday. So that why it returns the delivery date as a 31st by adding up a seven days. So with this we have learned to create a formula in Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic addition that calculates the business days. So if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like that one. For more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day.